Hey guys, and welcome back. It's Dukon Red one and today we're going to be doing part two of how to build a logging mill. Now, what we're going to be doing today is finishing up the system, and then we're also going to be doing uh, finishing up the detailing of the of the actual mill and the surroundings. So let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, what I want to do is add in a system in order to slide the log through the saw so that it's not really clunky and all that. So the idea is, is that I want to have a system here that will slide on rails. So we want to slide to a about there I would say so three back and then it would slide all the way to the end and then that's where the log would actually be um, put off so like this would be the system in order to easily slide the log across now getting the log in here would be a little difficult I'm sure but it is what it is so let's just go ahead and do that so here that is the log that's how it's going to be cut um, now you, we could put it more through but it just wouldn't make sense because there's really no way to indicate that it's split now so yeah um, what I'm going to do actually is shave off one part there or just a little bit right there just so that uh, we have a little bit more room to spare and what we're going to do now is actually put in some detailing to this just like that we're gonna add in fence pieces um, I think we're gonna go with the darker fence pieces instead because it's a little more it matches color a little bit better just like that just beautiful fine and dandy I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse this really quick Alrighty guys, so there we go. I went ahead and finished up the detailing on the sides here. And so now the idea is, is we're going to be adding in the thatch roof. So what we're going to be using for that is I'm going to be using just normal um, yellow hay as a placeholder. And then I'm going to be using the gray thatch as the actual block. Now the reason why I'm using this right now is because it's a little difficult to um, just place in dark thatch right off the bat without causing issues. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Uh, we're just kind of placing it in. I know I did a little bit more detail than I was going to for my last shot there, but uh, it worked out pretty well. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse the roof really quick. I'll be right back and um, we'll be one step closer to being done.
Alrighty guys, there we go, and now what we're going to be doing is actually doing a little bit more down here on the system. I want to add in some more support, so I thought that it would be logical to go ahead at each pivot, is go ahead and add in um, a support that actually connects to the beams that connect from one side of the building to the other. And what we can do is go ahead and put another cylinder in each of those uh, places. That way it's a lot more supported. And we can do the same here so that it's not such a long um, unsupported column that uh, we need to work with. So then that works a lot better, I think having some more support in there. So this is what the roof turned out to be like. I used a lot of thatch and I used a mix of the stair pieces to add in a lot more detail. And so this is where they would bring the logs in, the raw logs in. They would go ahead and cut them through here and then they'd push them out the end. Now what I need to do here is make a platform where carts can come down and pick up the um, uh, the finished product, which would be just uh, piles of, you know, just be boards that they would be pushing through. So the idea is, is that there needs to be some sort of platform here, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do that off screen as that is not mandatory. And I think that that can be more or less something done um, off screen because it's something that, you know, uh, it doesn't really need to be explained. It's just a place for the carts to come to pick up their goods and leave. Um, and so that the people that are working here don't have to like carry that stuff all the way from uh, there up the hill. So they don't have to carry it from here all the way up the hill to a cart so that the cart can just come right in, back up, and then pick up its goods. So that is the idea and hopefully we can do that. Right now I'm replacing these logs with all sided logs so that we can actually make this work a little bit better. And I think it's going to work. Um, and then what I'm going to do is start adding in part of the truss. Uh, the truss is like this. It adds in a little bit more detail, I think. I'm not sure if that's how I want to do it, though. Uh, I don't think I have a choice, however. I think what I might actually do is just do this. That way it's a little better, I guess and then maybe a small cross support there and then a fence piece up here like that yeah that's pretty acceptable I guess I think that that looks pretty good and then uh, we'll, what I'll do for the inside is I'll do that off screen uh, I don't want to bother you guys with details again when we're doing this video the idea is just to show you the system the basic idea my, I don't want you to copy this block by block as I don't feel that that is the proper way of learning how to build. Learning how to build is something that you need to find the, uh, the willpower to do and uh, be able to work on it yourself. Because um, there's a lot of details that I'm going to be adding in that I'm going to do off camera that will um, really make this stand out a lot more. So there we go. I think that that pretty much does that. Oh, the water wheel. We cannot forget the water wheel. That would not be good now, would it? So let's go ahead and start adding this in. Now I want to make this into one big log. Uh, log is usually typically pretty sturdy and um, I'll detail the terrain later, but for right now we're just going to do the wheel. Uh, so let's just go ahead and do some of this. Let me grab that and then this is going to be the wheel going around. Um, we're also going to use a mixture of trap doors I think and then that is really going to make this pop and stand out. Um, so let's just go ahead and do that. I accidentally changed a bucket. Whoops. Alright, so we want to change... What? I thought that... There we go, that's what we wanted. What I want to do is make sure that there's no missing textures because sometimes there are screwed up textures um, in this, so yeah. We're just going to make sure that doesn't happen. Now let's go ahead and finish this wheel all the way around. Now, I guess I could have just masked this and it would have been a lot easier, but knowing me, I like to do things the hard way 
And uh, yeah, that's just how it turns out. So there we go, all done as soon as we do that. And now we need to go ahead and add in our details, being just fence pieces like this, um, around like that, that really uh, makes things stand out a lot more. I think I'll do it on the outside as well. Not sure on that though, because it might touch the ground on the outside, so, hmm, I don't know. I don't know about this. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I think it's best I don't do that. Uh, I think it's best to just fill in the blank and believe that that is some sort of round bit here. There we go. I think that this actually works really well. If we do this, that really makes the uh, water wheel stand out a little bit more and it gives it a little bit more depth. So we're going to go ahead and just work with that. Just do that. There we go. And then for, hmm, we can't use buttons, so I guess we can't do that. So. Oh, no big worries, no big deal. Let's just go ahead and knock that down and that as well. Um, but yeah, as far as details are concerned, I'm gonna do that off screen as I can work a lot better off screen as far as detailing is concerned. Detailing is probably one of the hardest things to do and it's one of the hardest things for me to show on screen um, because whenever I'm detailing, I am rather sporadic. I Even now you can tell I'm kind of sporadic while I'm detailing because I'm just like all over the place. Uh, it's just how it is. Um, so another thing I want to explain to you is what I'm going to be probably, I'm going to be doing my best to do, is there needs to be a divert for this because when they want to do a um, maintenance on this wheel and they want to maybe fix something, there needs to be a way to make it so that the water doesn't flow out of this anymore. Obviously this water isn't going to stop. So what we're gonna to have to do is make a, a divert uh, so that when this closes, the water will come out somewhere and come down and around and back into the creek. So there we go. That is the mill for right now. And what I'm going to do now is completely finish everything up and do all the detailing. And then I'll come back and explain what I did. And uh, hopefully you guys learned something while I was building this, um, especially with the system here. That is a big thing. And um, when I come back, there's going to be a lot of explaining of different things that I've done. So I will be back and um, yeah, cool. Alrighty, so there we go. I went ahead and finished up the logging camp. I've added in the houses around and a little bit of storage and some just details and the um, basically giving you the idea of what would be around a logging mill and uh, why they would be there, etc. So anyways, I'm gonna just going to show you in here really quick. As you can see, the idea of this is that the log would be pushed out and that's where the boards would be made and it would be sort of piled up here. There's a cart here to pick up the boards as it's being um, produced and they put the boards onto here. This is a pile of boards, obviously spruce as uh, any other just kind of contrast too much and look a little awkward. Um, I made a stables in here because they would need horses to pull the wagons, maybe a cow, stuff like that, I don't know. Um, a little bit of storage under here for hay. Uh, I guess I should have a door there, shouldn't I? Yeah, let me turn on uh, F1, there we go. But anyways, um, then we go up here, this is a storage shed. This is basically where they would put all their storage and stuff and all that goodies. And then um, anyways, what I wanna show you about this system here is this is a lock system. Um, what would happen is sometimes they would have to maintenance this wheel and obviously you don't want it to be turning while it's being maintenance. So what I did is implemented this lock system where the water would flow from here and so they can open and close these locks. And so this right now is open, as you can see, it's open right there. And that's where the water would flow through and it would flow into the wheel. And that's what would spin the wheel. Then this here is the other one. So while they're maintenancing the, uh, or if they don't want the saw blade to be going on or on, um, all they would do is open up this one and then the water would flow all the way out right into the creek right here. So yeah, that is that idea. And uh, that's, you know, implementing the realism really makes it look a whole lot better, like a whole lot better, in my opinion. I just think that looks so much better now. 
Um, also, I have a little wooden bridge that goes over the uh, the little stream here. Uh, and then obviously this is this is where the owner of the operation would be or live. He would live in this little house, more like a hut, I guess, but it's just like a little tiny medieval house kind of thing. He has a chicken coop. He has a place where he chops wood for firewood and stuff like that. This is the other house. This is for like another employee, another worker, and maybe his family. I don't know. Uh, and then behind it is a uh, potato garden. As I have a lot of, uh, that's basically the resource that they would need. You know, obviously you need some food. Then around here, this is where there's all the cut down trees. I have some over here as well. And then I've manipulated some of the biomes to make it sort of this orange grass to sort of give it more depth and detail, make it look a little bit nicer. I'm probably gonna add more as time goes on. But um, here is where they're working on right now. What I've done is uh, here's a cut down tree and they're using the axes to cut it up. And then these are the logs as they're being pulled out and then they're being put onto these carts. And so once they're put onto the cart, they truck it down the road and they go down here and this is a loaded cart. And then they bring it into here and that's where they saw it. So basically that's a realistic system and it works pretty well. Uh, I really enjoyed how this logging camp turned out and I'm really excited to see what your guys' feedback is. Um, I'm still going to be adding more details but it's going to be off camera and it's going to be not in this video but um, anyways I hope that this video was helpful. I know the first first part wasn't as exciting as it should have been uh, but it was the uh, actual system itself and I think that the uh, system itself was pretty good. Um, you know just doing the system but I'm pretty excited about this. This is my favorite, or yeah, my favorite, uh, here, let me turn on James Yeda, there we go. This is my uh, favorite uh, logging mill I've ever done, and I just, I just love it, and it really turned out really good. Also, I added a little detail down here, like a little, like a place where some kind of bandit was maybe hurt, and he swam down the river, and now he's here. Uh, it's just another idea, just details. Details are huge and they really add a lot into your build so yeah uh, whenever you're building something make sure to do the details and I don't think I've shown you the spring but the spring is up here and this is where the spring comes out it goes down here I haven't finished the detailing around here again that this is part of a larger um, larger download but uh, yeah this is a creek here and so like I'll be doing the details off camera and stuff like that and I also added a hawk nest up here Thought that that was a pretty interesting thing so anyways yeah cool beans don't forget guys that I have a Facebook and a Twitter go ahead and follow me over there and check me out um, also uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one um, give me suggestions for things you'd like to see yeah all right see you around guys thank you for watching bye, -bye.